times. But today is a recording day. Yeah, it's about to get kind of crazy. <laughs> Today I'm actually recording a song for an artist uh, by the name of Rafael de los Santos. He's from New York. He's actually releasing an EP in the spring, which I already recorded three songs for. And it's like some son, old feel, old vibes mixed with some new school stuff. It's kind of crazy. It's really nice. And yeah, he's actually going to have a singer by the name of Diomedes. And he normally sings merengue. So it's, again, it's kind of crazy fusion, but just wanted to take you on that little journey on how I record this stuff. Yeah, it's gonna get kind of wild. Yeah, so for my main mic, the one I'm using for the main drum, I'm actually gonna use the AKG P420. It's not the greatest mic in the world, but it is affordable for all of its uses and what you can really get out of it. I think you can get a lot of juice out of this mic. Um, but I, I enjoy recording with it. It gets a good sound. It gets what I'm actually looking for when I try to send a recording to somebody else. But yeah, that's kind of where I really, you know, like to use this mic for those type of recordings. And then for the Thumbas, I'm using the trusty old SM57, man. This is like one of my favorite mics, period. And you can use this for anything, anything. You wanna sing, you wanna talk, anything you could literally do anything with this mic and it's a yeah it's a workhorse but i think it captures the lows you know especially in this place pretty well there are better options but hey for the price and the durability mm, mm, can't beat it this is like the boring part then you gotta sound check and check your levels and make sure you know what you're doing. Yeah, it's boring part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start an empty project. I already got that. I'm gonna do uh, three tracks and then assign those to the inputs. So go from right to left. That's one. This should be two. Then this should be three. Yeah, so let's uh, check levels on that. And see how it sounds and also before i start because i know you guys probably saw it in the time lapse but uh i tried to point it out towards the middle with some space you know so um but it's pointing towards the middle of the drum this one because i am going to be uh tilting tilting this drum so it'll probably be like that i will adjust it um while i'm actually playing um because you don't know especially when you're you're doing all this stuff and again same same thing with this one where i'm going to actually move it you know towards the middle but it looks i think it's at a good distance and yes i am using my custom in-ears uh monitors as uh headphones um i've been using them forever but yeah love 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 and y'all was actually about to start checking levels and i noticed like it's kind of equi can you hear echo <laughs> yeah, and it's because I don't have any foam around. Remember that video? Put foam everywhere. Very important. Very, very important. But yeah, let me do that now. Craziness. The craziness. craziness but yeah i mean this is what you gotta do sometimes to try to you know get something okay out of this but uh yeah it's always funny to see it
So it was just here in the back. And uh, I don't know, wasn't feeling the main mic. I don't know why, just wasn't feeling it. it. Sounded okay, I think it sounded good. But you know, in cases like this, especially when you're recording for somebody else, you wanna deliver something that you know it's gonna sound good. So I'm gonna just put another SM57 on there. Don't know why, I don't know if what's going on. Maybe I'm not just feeling it. Maybe for this particular recording and you'll hear what I'm gonna do later, but maybe for just this one, I'm gonna stick to an SM57. So switch that out and this uh, test levels with this mic.
yeah i think i like that one just a little bit better so yeah i uh, already did my little markers my directions i'm not using any charts i wasn't sending any charts for this so um you know made my little just directions just to know when to come in and come out and uh yeah um let's uh, get this recording i gotta do congas bongos and bell gotta love it I think that went pretty well it was a very simple arrangement not a lot of changes not a lot of you know craziness or anything like that but um, I like to try to play it all the way through without making any cuts or anything like that so it makes it easier for the person who I'm sending it to but uh, yeah let me set up for some bongo action I need to check levels on that and then record the bell but the bongo parts are very 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 minimal
yeah, so I think that came out well. Um, again, very, very small sections for bongo. It's very pocketed. Um, but, you know, I think it complemented the congas, you know, pretty good. And now to do the cowbell, which is my favorite part. Because I actually started with the cowbell. I actually played the cowbell. It was my first instrument ever. That's what got me into the world of percussion. So whenever I get to record cowbell, oh man, you're going to see me to be dancing and moving and grooving. That's like my favorite, favorite instrument ever. And also, I'm gonna be recording like maybe two other bells. This is the La Gorda, La Gorda from Maino. Um, but I like to see which one kind of best suits the song. And sometimes I don't know that until I record it and hear it along with other bells to see which one I feel. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually send those recordings to the client and see if they could pick and choose which they like. So. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's good to do that. Um, I'll see which one I like more, but at the same time, let the client decide what bell they prefer. So yeah, I'm gonna be using different bells today. about done um, the client did not ask for this but I'm gonna do it and I'm just gonna add some minor percussion maybe some chimes and some shakers in the beginning part of the song just because it's kind of like building up going into bolero and it's so empty you know so I want to fill that up with something uh, I know he's not asking for it but you know just me as a percussionist I feel like it's so empty and it can add a little bit of spice. Again, if he doesn't use it, cool. If he decides to use it, cool. You know, it's just that sometimes you gotta do that. Sometimes maybe they not, they're not seeing it from your perspective as a percussionist, especially because they're just, you know, worried about more of the whole arrangement, is this fit, is this. So the more stuff that they have, sometimes it's the better. It can be overwhelming, but sometimes it's a good thing to offer clients, hey, I just, you know added this and you never know sometimes people end up calling you back to do more work just because you thought about them you know not just about your own pockets think about that guys selfishness is the root of all evil think about other people y'all think about other people but yeah let me uh add that real quick and then i could show you kind of like not the end result because i'm not gonna play it all for you guys but at least something that you feel like okay that makes sense for this setup in particular, I'm gonna switch my mics just because I'm trying to capture more of an ambient type sound, not something so directional, but more kind of overall around this area. So yeah, I'm gonna be switching to, you know, some uh, overhead mics, which just adds a little bit different, you know, more room, more kind of freedom to just go crazy. tell you guys tired when you have to do everything by yourself and also filming everything at the same time 
I'm trying to tell you, it's like triple the work. You have to set up, you have to organize, you have to sound check, you have to put, you know, click yourself in and make sure everything is done right. And man, uh, it gets tiring. It's a pretty long process just for one song. But you know, guess what you gotta do, especially in these times when, you know, I can't just go and do it at a studio. So yeah, you gotta make the best of it. Again, thank you Rafael for having me and being part of this project, man. I'm honored, seriously, I'm honored to be part of this, man. I already did three songs for you and this is the fourth. So I'm excited for that EP, you know, coming in the spring. And once it's out, I'll share it with you guys so you guys can, uh, you know, take a listen and, you know, be, you know, the judge for yourself. You know, let me know, you know, about the tumbaos that I use and all this stuff. So, yeah, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and uh, I'll try to give you guys just a little preview of everything right now. I'm not trying to put the whole song out there, and you already know, it's the biz. It's the biz, but I do have permission from Raphael to just share a little clip and glimpse of what I put in. But again, a lot of the other stuff is synth is not the final for the other stuff but my, my stuff that i put in yeah that's the realness that's the realness right there but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna go rest or eat or do something Ugh, i'm just tired all right y'all peace